this uh, so we got the book over there just remember to get yourself a copy of the book guys all right we got the beetroot we got the garlic we got the we got the ginger we got the, also the lemon i'm going to be doing another drink today so yesterday we did the drink and a lot of people were saying to me chef ricardo thank you so much for that recipe it's just a recipe which is also very good for the immune system i've been doing it now this is going to be the second day because i have two beetroot leaves in my fridge and i said to myself what should i do with these beetroot the only thing come to my mind is do this on an amazing incredible beetroot juice and drink it naturally with the garlic honestly guys i'm gonna tell you something this drink is a powerful drink and you know what i mean if you're at home and you feel bored and you ask it to yourself you know what you feel like when i drink something then this is something you need to drink all right 100 percent and not only that neither is the benefit behind it why me personally um love this um recipe so much all right yeah man is it is it is a benefit in it the benefit is amazing and yeah it's, it's good really really good guys and i would encourage you know um to get yourself some beetroot if you you know what i mean a beetroot person like chef ricardo 100 percent just you know jump and go and get it some beetroot yeah the beet this powerful this is organic beetroot and we got some ginger the jamaican ginger is one of the best in the world we got some lemon and we have some garlic and i'm going to jump straight into it to show you um exactly how to make this on an amazing credible drink today i did it yesterday yeah i did it yesterday and someone was like oh my god chef ricardo thank you so much i didn't know you could use garlic in it garlic is powerful guys get yourself some organic garlic and you know what i mean jump on the bag one we're gonna be chef ricardo cooking and let's do this together so we're gonna show you some of the secrets what you guys need to do at home when you're um, doing certain kind of ingredients like these okay now as i mentioned yesterday a lot of people does not like to wash them ingredients okay then when they go to the supermarket then don't like wash them ingredients they like for us come and put it into the fridge so what you want to do you want to try to get yourself a bowl of water like this all right and then get some vinegar or you can use some if you don't got the the vinegar you can use some baking soda so we're gonna put a teaspoon of about a teaspoon of vinegar inside of it and wash it off like that all right we're using white vinegar all right guys we are using the white vinegar to wash it okay now as I said, a lot of people does not like to wash them ingredients, and I don't know why. You know what I mean? I don't know why. So you want to put your ingredients in it like this, and make sure you wash them off. All right? We're not going to put the garlic in it. Okay? Yeah, a good vibes. Always wash your ingredients, guys. It's important. Now, here it is. Get yourself a copy of the book, From Poverty to Purpose, Chef Ricardo's Secret Recipes to Success. Grab yourself a copy. Today is the last day of the sale on the book. Yeah, today is the last day. So if you didn't get yourself a copy of the book, please jump over to Amazon right now and get yourself a copy of the book. And yeah, support Chef Ricardo journey, guys. We're on a journey and we have to get the journey up and running the right way. Yes, so beetroot is good for the blood. 150 million percent beetroot is good for the blood guys you know what i mean beetroot help to make your blood flow better and it protect your blood also from a lot of stuff because that's what one of the main thing what you want to do now i got some of the tips and ideas i'm gonna do today with this drink i didn't do it yesterday but i'm gonna do it today all right if you didn't get yourself a copy of the book get yourself a copy of the book so once you wash off your ingredients into some vinegar or baking soda at home then we're gonna so you want to leave it at least at least 10 minutes in it or 10 seconds i'm already washed my ingredients i'm about two days ago because i'm not but i'm just showing you 
what you guys should do at home. It's important for you to wash your ingredients. Someone was asking me why you're always talking about washing your ingredients. And I was explaining to him yesterday that a lot of people, when they go to the supermarket, um, they get caught up with their cell phone and their cell phone and they start to talk to all them friends. And you know what I mean? Sometimes when you go to the tilt, you don't know. Like the other day I went to the supermarket and the guy was blowing his nose at the tilt and he was touching the other person's things and he was he didn't sanitize his hand. So all of these things, it do hard up. You know what I mean? So that's why I keep saying to you, wash your ingredients, wash your stuff what you do when you come from the supermarket. Even the guy was packing away the stuff off the trolley. You know what I mean? He's packing away the seasoning, them like the spring onion, and the, um, the vegetables and the fruits. And at the same time, his nose was running like river. And he was just using a little piece of a tissue and wiping his nose. So all of these things is important to wash your ingredients. You know what I mean? People sneezing, people coughing. There's a lot of things taking place when you are in the supermarket. Okay? So that's why I, I always mentioning, please wash your ingredients, guys. So someone was asking me why I keep talking about washing ingredients. Yeah. That's the reason why I'm talking about it. Wash your ingredients before you put them in the fridge. Some people don't like to do it. Some people just go in the supermarket and just buy things, bring it home, give out it, call him son. Come, John, put them in the fridge. You as the parents need to talk to the kids and I say, listen, you need to wash your things um, before you put them in the fridge. And don't scream at your son and tell him to come and pack away. You are the adult. You know what I mean? You need to take the responsibility and make sure the things them. Um, Come on, pack away. Good. A good vibes. All right, we're not going to stay too long on that because, you know what I mean, talk and talk, it doesn't make no difference. You as the adult need to, need to know what to do at home. All right. Let's jump straight into it. Let's get the naughty blender out from there. So we're going to be using this one. Okay. We're going to use this blender. 100% effective. Okay. All right. Um, once I use that blender, I'm going to wash out my ingredients because, you know, the thing go already. I'm going to put on some gloves and, yeah. In the meantime, grab yourself a copy of the book, guys. 50% off today. Fifty fifty percent half of this today, guys. All right. Okay. Yeah. Today is Sunday. I mean, I mean, you know, but I'm just making a nice drink at the beer because this is what I feel for. You know. All right. So here it is. This is all of my ingredients. So what I would do, sometimes I don't have to remove the skin from the, the beetroot, but sometimes I do move the skin. Because sometimes when I look at the skin, I'm like, my God, I don't want to have this inside of me right now. But the skin are important, all right? But today, I'm going to just simply show you a way how to remove the skin. You can use your peeler. You don't have to um, use your knife to remove the skin from the beetroot. You can just use your peeler or you can just juice it but you're gonna see the reason why i want to do this because sometimes i just drink it naturally instead of strain it because i need the benefit from the beetroot this is the blood flow guys blood cleaner and blood flow and good for the immune system this is protecting you from a lot of things cancer diabetic so many things you know what i mean one one hundred percent effective. Get yourself a copy of the book in the meantime. I'm gonna cut up this. Sorry. All right. Wash them off. And cut them off because. looking good and this is what I like to see all right 
Now, this is how the beetroot look. All right? This is how the beetroot look. And you can do the same thing at home. You can use your juicer, your expensive juicer where you buy, and have it in your house. You can use that one, but I like to do it this way. Okay? Then I take my time and I put them in my blender like this. I like to do it this kind of way, honestly. All right? Lovely. Um, I'm going to get a little piece of a ginger to put inside of it. The Jamaican ginger is the best in the world. Ginger is good for you guys. All right? Well, I'm sorry for the people that are allergic to ginger because you're missing something when you're not having ginger in your diet. You know what I mean? It's just amazing to know how ginger is powerful. So here it is. This is the ginger. I'm going to put a few slices inside of it. All right? Yeah. Now, the garlic is very good when you can have garlic like this instead of you cook it. Now, when you cook garlic sometimes, you are killing it, the benefit of the garlic. So it's good to have the garlic raw like this. All right? So we've got these two pieces of garlic right here i'm going to be using these two pieces two cloves of garlic inside of it like that that's the best way to have garlic guys that sometimes when you cook the garlic you are killing the benefit you're not getting the 100 percent benefit from the garlic and that's why here some people have said oh i'm not getting the benefit from it you know what i mean all right make sure no seeds none of these one make sure i take the seeds from it Sometimes there's seeds, so we're gonna make sure the seeds remove. All right, lemon juice, or you can use lime, it's up to you. All right, squeeze it inside of it like this. Yeah, all right, that's looking really good so far. Here, Zizim is in the building, man. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Here, Zizim. The man, I love beetroot juice, man, like myself. Yeah. All right. Now, the secret behind this drink today is this. All right. Okay. Cayenne pepper. We're going to put a pinch of cayenne pepper in it. Every man should be drinking cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is good for you, all right? Very, very good for you. This can present a lot of things from in your immune system. Clear up the gut, present heart attack strokes, and a lot more than this is long. So sometimes you see me do cayenne pepper, olive oil, and lemon juice as a um, detoxin cleanse, uh, so cleanse all the liver. Very, very good. So we're going to put a pinch of cayenne pepper. We're not going to be using too much inside of it because you know cayenne pepper is spicy so this is the amount of the cayenne pepper i'm going to be using inside of it i might just put a little pinch more inside of it that is very very good for you guys all right that means you're waking up the aunt's nest all right that's the kind of drink i'm making right now you're waking up the aunt's nest and getting rid of all of those and which is crying around unnecessary in your stomach. So that's what we are doing. We're not gonna use any sugar, sweetener, honey, or anything. Natural. We're gonna use some natural water. If you got coconut water, you can use coconut water. We're gonna put roughly about the same amount of ingredients to the same amount of water inside of the blender. We're not gonna do too much. We just want to make a potion to drink. All right, beautiful. Then, once you do that, we're just gonna simple, put on the lid. All right, as I say, you can use an expensive blender. You don't have to do a chef of doing. It's up to you. So this is how it look. And we're going to make some noise. In the meantime, Get yourself a copy of the book. All right, guys? Because the price is very low today. Let's blend. Oh, 
Okay, now, as you can see, look, take a good look. All right, that's the look. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a good look at it. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a little bit more water. I don't want to be too watery, you know what I mean? Just a little bit more water inside of it. And then I'm gonna take it to the blend one more time. And remember, get yourself a copy. So blend it. Let's put the book one side and let's get open up it just like this because I'm not hiding nothing. I want you guys to see what's going on right here in the kitchen. This is one of the world's most powerful ingredients on the planet. My chef of I'll just show you guys. If you ever do this for five working days, there is life game changes in your life, man. Drink it natural like that. Right. If you ever drink this five working days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there is a life game changes in your life taking place right there. Do you know what uh, cells are necessary things are going to kill in your immune system, in your gut? Because that's where everything sits. All right. Let's try this one, guys. We're going to go for this one. You can taste the cayenne pepper inside of it and also you can taste the garlic all right yes you can the cayenne pepper is sparks inside of it but the cayenne pepper is very good for the gut all right it's to help to clean out the gut all right that's what i'm talking about and make the blood flow really good and cleansing the liver so basically when you go to the toilet you will see certain things red is the beetroot all right when you're weak you're gonna see even red is the beetroot very powerful guys and also <laughs> here's just a big up yourself yeah man and also i didn't strain it because sometimes when sometimes i do strain it sometimes but i'm not straining this one i'm drinking everything this drink is one time a day you don't want to drink this every two or three hour, one time a day. All right, you drink it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Just drink it for five working days, man. Very powerful drink. All right. So. Ah, this is amazing. And you can taste the garlic. I use two cloves of garlic inside of it. Ah, oh, you can taste the cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper is sparks in it, guys, but it's, the pepper is really good for you. All right? Yeah. Mm. Wow. You see that? That is powerful. Very, very powerful. All right. So tomorrow, we will be talking about carrot juice, green apple, and kiwi for five working days. All right? Yeah, man. This is amazing. Ah, so nice. But the pepper, you have to know to angle the pepper. All right, guys? Because if you want it spicy, you can get it spicy. If you want it normal, you just put less pepper. All right? That's my advice. But it's a very powerful drink. All right? Very powerful.
Mm -mm. This is amazing. A little bit of water. And just rinse it out a little bit. Just like this. Mm. That was amazing. That was amazing. Now, this drink is like you're going to the kitchen and you're getting your cleaner like this. All right? This is your cleaner, you're wiping down your surface because you see some little spot in the kitchen and you need to get rid of it. This is the kind of drink you drink to get rid of those little things inside of your stomach. All right, guys? So very powerful, very good for the immune system and this will help to build up your immune system also. 100%, all right, guys? So give it a go and give it a try at home, all right? Cayenne pepper is very strong in it and it's very also very good for you guys, all right? I did the drink the other day talking about olive, um, lemon juice and olive oil and cayenne pepper. These three things right here is also very good for the liver and to cleanse the blood and the liver. If you guys want to see that video, please request it by sending me a message on my Instagram page and I definitely will do that one over again. That one is a very powerful one. You guys can do that one at home. One time a day in the morning on an empty stomach and you drink it for three, Monday and Wednesday and Friday, three days for the week with really good. Don't overdo it, you know what I mean? You don't want your body to get used to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, now it's time for me to wind down and close in the show. And we really appreciate you guys today who take the time and watching Chef Ricardo's show. And as I say, I'm not looking nothing from no one. I don't want to like, you don't have to leave your comments, you don't have to like the video. The most important thing is for you to look after your immune system and look after yourself. And big up all of the people that will take some time and go to church today and serve the God who created the world. All right? Some people don't believe in a God, but there's a God. You understand? Big up all of the people them who have to work. And big up all of the people them didn't get the chance to go to church. See, we still worry for love and respect. Guys, remember this, man. Always put God first in everything what you do at home. Without God, we are nothing in this world. No matter what you have, you could have till you can't have no more. Remember, put God first, guys. Trust me. 150 million percent. Put God first in your life before your kids, before your family, before your wife, your husband, your daughter, your everything, your pet. Put God first. All right? Because it is God as created us. It's not ourselves. All right? Just remember. You know, when I went to church this morning, this is what the pastor was talking about. This, and I, and I talk it many times, always love, share love, and always support. Love and support. All right, guys? That's what the pastor was talking about this morning. Love and support and share love. Because these time of days now, you don't, you don't see love anymore. The only time you see love, I will lay and everyone come and cook and eat and drink. That's the time they love you. They make the biggest Ron Robin and all them biggest food and curry goat, rice and peas and chicken and, and all sort of stuff. When you are alive and well, that's the time people must show love. All right? Yeah. So, big up all of the people them who go to church this morning and serve the God who we love. If you didn't get the chance to go to church today, remember to pray. Pray for your family. Pray for your neighbor. Pray for your enemy. Pray for who you don't like. Because there is some reason why certain people have certain things, you know what I mean? Just pray and ask God for the blessing, man. God is real, guys. Trust me, because I proved for myself. God is real. And trust me, a lot of people are doubting God. Stop doubt, God, man. God is real. And one day he will come back. Many people say, God, now come back. Yes, he will come back. Because when you fall rain, you know, fall upon one person or stop. You fall upon everyone or stop. So it's real. All right? You fall upon the unjust and the unright. So guys, 
that's big up on herself. We're not going to be preaching today. We're just going to talk certain things, which is reality. And, you know what I mean? And trust me, it's just facts. And we have to deal with it. All right? Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how much car you drive. It doesn't matter what you have in the what you have. Trust me. Your only thing you can do is pass it on to others. But when somebody is life, that's the time you need to share love and pray for the person and respect the person and share love, share love, share love and support. Rum fish is in the building. Big up yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Rob Fish, big up yourself, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. One hundred percent. I went to church this morning, and I give that, and I give thanks. Amen. Yeah, man, that's for real. Yeah, Aisha Fakada, very, very nice to see you again. Understand that very well. What long? You got the drink that one week, fifteen days. How long that? Very much. God will always bless you. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Um, rock fish, big up yourself. Yeah, I have to put my trust in God. That's the only thing I can say. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna, uh, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, God is good, man. God is good. Trust me. And a lot of people are doubting God, and a lot of people don't believe in God because they might, you have a lot of people too, they ask God for something today, they expect it to get it tomorrow. It may take the next 30 more years because God is faithful and God is real. All right? It doesn't matter what you go through. You know what I mean? God understands. He's the one who made us. And he understands certain things that, you know what I mean? We always not going to be perfect. We're a human being. He's the one who made us. He knows everything. You understand? And yeah, there's a lot of things that's going on all over the world right now where I think, say, guys, we need to open up our eyes. You know? We need to open our eyes and look very carefully and start support with one another and pray for one another and share love that me at all but it's all about sharing love and support one another okay that's the that's the plan for the future share love pray for one another and support one another don't wait till the person later to rest you go cook and eat all the rice and peas and chicken and the most expensive food for what no support now and share love all right? Yeah. That's what we're talking about. All right. Thank you so much for today. And I pray that the Lord will bless you, guide you, and protect you. And whatever you do, man, stay blessed. Wally for love and respect from Chef Ricardo. Thank you so much for the support. Today was a great day. I went to church. Powerful message this morning. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. You know? Yeah. And a lot of people... They are, this is what we'll find out with a lot of people, guys. And I, I, I say, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right. This is what I understand right now what's going on all over the world. And I can see it. This is what's been happening. And I'll make sure you guys are listening very carefully. Now, the people are finding too much excuse not to want to go to church. You know what I mean? Not to want to go to a congregation to, to, to get it together and serve the God who created this world. You know what I mean? They find excuse. Oh, I'm not going to go to that church. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do this. I'm not. Find yourself. But you stay home and up on social media. I hate it. Video. And I, and I look on other S people photo. And I look on people other S things. But you're not going to take the time and go to church. And say, you know what? Let me go to church. Go get it together with other, other conversation. And give God thanks and show me offering. But you stay home. Dep on your phone. Dep on your computer. Dep on your laptop. Or whatever. Squaring through social media and I look at other S people photos and all sort of stuff. Reality, guys, trust me, that's a happening in the world now. Everybody finding excuse for everything because they don't want to get the blessing where God has for them. But at the end of the day, God still loves them and God still provides for them. You understand? But put your trust in God, man. Go to church and stop finding excuse and go show your offering. Because his father got to bless you and I put food in your plate that you can your family can eat and have a good time. A real talk and it is facts. All right? Stop finding excuses because you don't want to go to church. Go serve God. And when you go to church, stop on your phone and I scroll through social media. Leave your phone at home. 
and serve God. Some people are going to say, this is not a necessary chef recorder, but you know what I mean? I have to talk it, guys, because it's what God has done for me. And I need to share it to the world, you know, that God is real and God is true and is blessing every one of us. So we need to take the time and speak up. A lot of people are shy and don't want to talk, but I'm not shy, you know what I mean? Because if you're shy, you know what I mean? It's done, nothing I'm going to do. You're going to have to speak up. Some people are going to say, well, that, that's unnecessary. Why are you going to talk that? Because some people don't want to hear the truth because the truth hurts. You know what I mean? It's just facts. All right? But as I say, and I always say this, when one door closed, there are still many still open. All right, guys? It's all about sharing love and peace and happiness and joy. Big up on yourself. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time with more recipes and more ideas. Now that drink, you can drink it for five working days and you will see the benefit in it, guys. Um, go over to my YouTube channel. I'm going to share the benefit in the description box of beetroot. The benefit of beetroot and why it's so important for you to drink beetroot juice at home. All right. As I say, you don't have to buy my book. Only thing you can do is pray for me. That's all. I don't need nothing. You don't have to like my video. You don't have to leave the comments. Just pray for me. If you don't like me, still pray for me. If you like me, pray for me. Okay, if you don't like my videos, if you think I talk too much, still pray for me. <laughs> That's all. I'm not begging you nothing, guys. It is simple, 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 like one, two, three. Yeah, man. If you don't like me, and if you think I talk too much, still pray for me. That's it. Go over to Amazon and get yourself a copy of the book on Amazon and support Chef Ricardo Cooking. All right? That's the facts, guys. Yeah. A lot of people say, oh, Chef Ricardo, you talk too long. The time where you're going to do that, pray for me. That's all I want. Nothing else. You don't have to tell me that. You know what I mean? Tell Jesus or tell God. Eros, good morning. What's going on? Big up yourself every time. I really appreciate you coming on the show. All right. 100%. Anyway, we're going to close the show and have a blessed day. And I will see you the next time in the kitchen.